things and they stores it and after the soul stores everything that is spiritual in the manifestation of it the body demonstrates what the soul has received i want you to understand that one because let me repeat it again the soul is the component within the body and i did say that we talked yesterday in Genesis chapter 2 verses number 7 the Bible says and God had the breath he breathed the man the breath of life and the man became a living soul he formed the man from the dust of the soul so the soul it is I, I mean it is the man body it is a body it's part of the body because we have the body soul the, the, the spirit and the, the, the body itself so the soul keeps the information. It is a soul that is yoked with every altar for any single information that may be able to make a man manifest to himself. So any behavior you see a man has in his life, any behavior, any character, this character does not originate from the body. The body is just actually a drum. The body is just a drum. The body is nothing at all. The body does not the body does not have any single function unless it is given an order, unless it is given the instructions, unless it is driven by what the soul has received in the spiritual realm. If the soul has received negative information, the body will demonstrate negative feelings. I didn't understand that. If the body, if the soul has received negative spirit, that's the food the soul eats. Because I did say yesterday, the food of the soul is the spirit of word that will speak. Amen? That's the mere one. For example, if I say it today, right now I say, stand up. I didn't push you and, and, and hold you on your back and say, stand up. I was spoken the word and the word that enters your soul and when it enters your soul now you decide the body will rise amen so every character everything that you have today every behavior that i demonstrate today that maybe at one level or the other i may hide that i'm not born from kissy for example but at some stage in the process you find their characters that I demonstrate that is a kissism. Why? Because even still I am in a crew. My soul still travels. That's why we talk about the freedom of the soul. And the Bible says, when you shall be tired of the yoke. Why? Because the soul is connected. It is yoked together from the family altar. Praise the Lord. Paul speaks in 1 Corinthians chapter number 12. Start reading verse number 1. Paul speaks and says, there is a man, he speaks very well. Can you read it Edward? in English? Oh, it's right. Actually, read in Swahili. Paul. Paul is speaking about himself. Say, I don't know whether it is me or who was he. But one thing I know, there is information I traveled. So the soul travels from a body man. Praise the Lord. That's the time when you are dreaming. That's the time when you are asleep. When you are in your bed. That time your soul departs from you and it travels to Mombasa. It travels to where you come from. It travels to the village and whatever it collects. What else was that? Whatever the information the soul collects that time, the whatever spirits, whether negative or positive. Let me give you an example. You can tell you in One maybe like small children. Like uh, uh, last night, as a king had gone to eat a victor. So you discover Nafsiake. He costiri kwa mchana walipokuwa na Victor. Ijapokuwa mwiri hiko. Lakini nafsi imetoka. Hiko na Victor wakonae mahali. 
wanaita unaniona wewe hata watoto nawasikia mtu anasema weka ball weka ball amelala kabisa usingizi weka pass weka pass wewe wacha bana wacha bana you listen to them speaking bana asiwe sana mwili iko pale kitandani lakini nafsi iko uwanjani you know what i'm saying it is a complex subject that you deal with it that's why when we are baptized the symbolic of much waters number one, that what waters it is a condom number one, water stands for the spirit and it stands for the word so when we are baptized that is our soul that we are immersing not the body you can immerse the body but if you don't immerse your soul you can never have any difference praise the lord many of the things that we say umeiona nimekuuliza umeiona wale mko na watoto wadogo uende katoto kadogo kamelala nje uanze kukachezesha kwa usingizi katoto kamelala but because your soul and the soul of the kid they know each other uanze kuchezesha katoto pale ukachezeze kachezeze kachezeze katoto katika usingizi kabisa na akaamuki bado kanacheka si ni kweli na ulengea na mtu katoto kanacheka lakini bado kamelala nini why because nafsi hailali nafsi haiendi kwa usingi haiendi kwa kitanda and that's why the enemy knows the moment they arrest your soul they have arrested you permanently praise the lord so any time even you dream that's why a man when he dreams job chapter 33 start verse 14 the bible says that god speaks to man once and twice a man does not listen to it but the bible goes on to say he speaks to man through dreams and the visions to the what yani for example i dream from where i come from naota nikiwa nakuru lakini naota kisi ama naota nairobi ama naota mumbasa kwa marafiki na mimi niko hapa mwili imelala hapa because hii mwili kulingana na vile Mungu alivyotumba mwili huu hauna capacity ya kubeba anything beyond 12 hours bana sozana if it can try 24 hours huyo mtu the following day he cannot manage am i talking to somebody here oh my goodness mwili kijaribu 24 hours ya kwamba hujafunga macho trust me the 26 hour either you are walking jana nimepita hapo pale macho natoka hapo napata jamaa amekalia pikipiki amekalia pikipiki mzee mmoja tu na ameweka mawanda zake the old man amelala kabisa amelala kwa pikipiki amelala na amekalia hivi nikasema akienda that's why unaonaga kuna kipindi unaona mtu unakaa kama ni mahali huko unaona unaona unaenda fa nafsi ndio mtu alisi ambaye akipatikana akiwa arrested honestly your life permanently is under arrest and it will never any more that's why it needs a higher spiritual yesterday i was talking to another guy kwamba the father cast them and i told them anytime their father spiritual why where does the father cast them the cast what the father cast them it is simple the father cast them because the soul of the father and the child they are connected listen to this Genesis 24 and 27 sorry verse number 4 I want to begin from there The Bible says like this Isaac spoke to his son Esau and said prepare for me food that I may eat that may soul may be what happy may soul be what Ebu your your, your translation That your son you that I sometimes your translation you need NIV Uh, it reduces some some weight but here mommy ebu give that one now that one the bible says he says give me a the other one says give me the super food that i like as my soul like it not my body 
Hebu soma Genesis chapter number 27 verse 4. Please in English that is very it's, it sounds very nice. Yes. I want you to understand the difference between the soul, the body, and the spirit and what we are dealing here with and why even we come to church. We don't come to church because of our bodies. We don't, we don't carry our bodies to church. It has nothing to benefit. But if your soul gets anything, your body has a capacity to see. That's why you can find a very handsome man but unable to find a woman. Why? Because this handsome outside the body, the soul has been taken, made very old, extremely, excessively, reckless, old. The soul is taken. It's given a difference. So the man you see by this body is the same not man that it is a soul. There's a lady all over. Kume this lady soul yake liku imechukuliwa imefanywa wazim. Every place anapita ata kwa barabara. She's attracted because souls also attract the kind of spirit. It attracts. So, huyu msana, every time anatembea, watu wanao mtongoza, wote ni mawazimu. Yani, mawazimu, na she was very cute. Very cute outside. Very cute. You don't know I'm very cute outside, but the soul in Mechukuri Wandani in Megeuswa, Yani Nikita. Yani Nikita. I will see you. What is it? So, my daughter. And make me savory food uh, such as I love. Uh, and bring it to me uh, that I may eat. Yes. That my soul may bless you. Thank you. Before my I words. die. My words may bless you. Not my body. Even not, let me tell you, even before a preacher lay hands on you, number one, his soul must lay his hand on you. Praise the Lord. What we do, what we use as a, as a same hand, is a demonstration as evidence of this natural body. The Bible says when Peter were walking on the streets, the sick people were brought, and the shadow, I was telling you yesterday about the shadow, and their shadows was healing them. Why? The soul of Peter was carrying healing. Praise the Lord. When he was carrying healing, so that healing was transferred to the soul of that people. So the body manifests what the soul has already received. Ah, ni yeka tu raish. Kula kwa tu kuna watu wana itonga wale wana zorora. Nafikiri walu ya wa kisi wakale I don't know much about the laws wakona hiyo 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 mapepo ya 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 idu ya ya macho hii inaitwa nini ile inaitwa viriria wakiangalia mtoto inaitwa je sasa inaitwa je ile kwa wakale ile mwenye mtoto wanaangalia mtoto wakishangalia mtoto isipende sana sana si mtu mzima mtoto unajua ni kwa nini mtoto is an helpless soul that can be attracted hasa akiangalia Uyo mtoto wanafura, sijui wanafanya nini. So, uh, na wakisi wana i-apply, mi I don't know about other tribes, wana i-apply kiro. Ukipeleka uyo mtoto hospitali, akidungwa sindano atakufa. Lakini ukichukua mafuta, they know that a, a yolk, a yolk is internally in the soul. Unachukua, ukichukua uyo mafuta, unaanza kufugua yule mtoto, what happens? Huyu mwenye amemwangalia na hiyo macho kama hapa karibu kulikuwa na mahindi, kulikuwa na marawe, kulikuwa na mchanga, una discover those things zinatoka kwa mwichi. Naongea hiyo mnajifanya kama nyinyi wazungu sana. Bwana Sheza. Sinibaza mko kweli Edward? Si ni swali. Masheza, sinibaza mko kweli? Hivi yaani wanajua wanakuambia don't take that kid to the hospital why because they saw and those women especially iyo vitu ika sana kwa wanawake others don't know why ndiyo walitua wanawake wachawi wasishi wana shows that so wanaangalia katuto kwa macho especially wanachukia vitoto vile ambavo vipo na viupe na vinono viupe na vinono they don't survive particularly so kone vile vime konda konda na ni vile usi they had no value. Have you guessed value? So nobody cares about them. 
So akatoto kanaangaliwa wanaangalia kwa macho direct. So wanapoangalia kwa macho direct they transfer what the soul of this woman has picked transfer the body so ule mtoto anaanza wanakufa they die so kule kwetu wanajua wanakuanga na anti 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 terrorism oil wako na vitu viwili moja mfupa wa wa wa, wa ngurue katoto kanafungiwa hapa hiyo ndio ile mwambie sema wanawake wanaoifunga hirisi katika viunoni mwao so wakifunga ile hirisi hapa yani hiyo mfupa ama wakichukua mafuta ya ngurue wachipake hiyo vitu aishiki ama nguo ya red yani they have a revelation wanajua damu ya Yesu ukitaka katoto kazi resorodo sokoni ukikapeleka sokoni unakanunulia nguo ya red kutoka juu mpaka chini hawa rogi ikwagi rahisi kwao kuangalia mtoto akiwa na hiyo nguo nyekundu hata 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 that's yani i'm just giving you a very practical things that are happening bana zwe za hiyo ni vitu vinatendeka ni vitu vinatendeka ni vitu yani a soul of a man let me let me let me go to the easiest way you can understand nafsi ya mtu ndio huwa inakuwa that's why unaona ushaiona tunaombea unaona tunaombea mtu kama mtoto kadogo kama by girl hapa masi small girl like this soli yake sio yeye sasa unaona mwili ni mdogo soli yake inakuwa empowered unakuta imepewa demonic power wanaume hata sita hapa wakijaribu kushika huyu mtoto wanamwezaga kweli i'm asking my friends unaona kama wanamweza yani mtoto mdogo anashika watu at that time why because that is not her the body you see physically the soul is heavily empowered from the demonic world because when the soul travel it receives particular power that's why the witches even the politician when they go to the witch doctor they are empowered demonically when they come out even when people say we cannot vote them they can still vote them because their soul is empowered when he stands to speak he speaks what you cannot even understand but you can still elect them because what their soul is taken out and it is empowered so every information in the spiritual realm is is deposited in the soul and then it is manifested in the book so ukiona kana tupa pa 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 kana tuk we were in kisumu one day i was doing a meeting a very young girl came kameva kameva kanguka kwa hivi kadogo ameingia kwa ibada akasema kuja so tukaanza kuhubiri when i was talking about demonic generational limitations of the families and then after sometimes so the manifestation started kidogo kidogo so akaanza kale kasara kalitoka pale nyuma pa kalipofika hapa kakaanguka pa so uh, i had already known that what i was teaching was very strong very strong uh, let me give you a very small example so mambo ya kawaida tu wale tulisoma historia na hii story ya kawaida wale tulisoma historia tu ni story zote watu walisoma tulisoma about Rwanda magere tukasoma si kweli tulisoma juu ya Rwanda magere na nilikuwa naambia juu ya soul ni hii shadow unaona tulisoma hiyo story na sia story hiyo ni uongo hiyo story iko because that was not a man it was a demon it was what and you cannot kill a demon by physical swords please these demons they call giants they are extraordinary human beings bana sio sio sana the demons So when I say Malwanda Magere was unable to be killed by Hernandez. So what they do? They were looking for the secrets. They knew this is a demon and the, let me tell you demons loved women even from the from the from the Bible. Genesis chapter number 6 the Bible says verse number 1 and the sons of God which were angels loved the women of this world and they had sex together and they gave birth to superhuman they are not human beings. Giants that to some demons because anything that is beyond human it is a demon is what a 
when you cannot fight demons physically like this that's why Goliath was a demon he was not a, a warrior he was not a warrior he was just a mere demon and it is David who has to understand because the soul of that particular character must be fought by another soul empowered Goliath was empowered from the kingdom of hell and David was empowered the Bible says he was the youngest of the all and he had no military skills so ni mambo tunafurijana ni hatari kidogo wasipo jipanga utachangajikiwa katikati hapa bwana siwe sana watu tuko hapa hivi ni wangapi ambao wanaota juu ya watu waliofariki zamani ndio ujue mtu anakuja na kutokea mama mmoja alituambia aunt yake alikuwa amemtokea akiwa akiwa na expectant she was expectant na aunt yake akamtokea ama kaa kwa kikiti alipokuwa kwa kikiti akamuongelesha akamuongelesha and after that woman give birth akaita mtoto wake jina ya aunt yake na anasema ule mtoto ako na character there is a lady from Nandi here yeah. this lady was also named after the auntie who was never married but she was very intellectual but she was named after that i got those chip 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 then after that the same things that happened to the auntie it came to happen why because the soul of the departed come down in the vita one because it is reprocated but i just was on i want to tell you grace look at this the bible says john the baptist he came back in the spirit of a raja a man can die but his soul is not dead it's not what so he looks at one the duplication and that's why african demons satanic way of their way of life they keep on rolling around yani unaitwa jina ya nyanya yako ya anti yako ya clan yenu kila mahali so that you cannot be able to lose the identity so that the soul of the departed comes up enters you they continue bana so sana that's why when john was born god talked to zakaria and said this guy will not be called any name of your village will be called john john means grace means favor he said and he will bring joy to many generations so you discover when we talk about this subject of the is one of the most complex subject i usually man iko nasemaje inasema isaac akamwambia mwanae esau nitafutie chakula kitamu vile nipendacho ndio nafsi yangu ifanye nini ikifurahi ikubariki so ikikashirika ikulahadi am i talking somebody here no when he came back to himself from his sense of drunkenness the bible says the man was still alive and well he cast his son home he said cast be canon your son the man spoke it but it went those words transfer it went to the soul of the newborn born baby who was kind of before even he was born so it was deposited in him and it started to manifest himself bwana sio za have you ever asked one day unajiuliza town hapa kwa nini huyu jana nikawa namfikiria juu ya another sister nikasema mtu anaweza and she is very beautiful mtu anaweza kuwekewa nafsi yake inawekewa roho ya kukataliwa na kuachwa we read that one in Ezekiel chapter number 16 Edward read it verse number 5 in a sema and your soul was left hated nobody had even mercy to do these things for you so you are yoked together you are yoked together you are yoked what so what i'm talking about that joke we talk about it's a joke which means from the family that we come from though we are here in akuru but still we manifest and demonstrate the characters from where we came from bana siwe sana ilikuwa nakuuliza kwa nini unakutaka kwa kisi wanaenda na 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 wimbi america wanaenda na managu wanaenda sa why can they eat what wakalewa mtu ametoka america amekimbia marathon amekuwa mzima mzima mzuri wana matawi kwa sababu ulikwambia matawi ni ya nini 
And those are specific. Wanachukua matawi, wanavalisha mtu kwa shingo, wanampatia muruziki. Yaani wanamwambia kwamba tafadhali lest you do what? I say lest you do what? You forget. So they own him. They own him 101. Read it as the last number 45. That Ezekiel no one looked on you with pity uh-huh. or had compassion enough uh-huh. to do any of these things for you. Uh-huh. Rather, you are thrown out into the open field. Uh-huh. For on the day you were born, you were despised. Uh-huh. Then I passed by and saw you kicking about in your own blood. Verse 6. Verse 6. Five. No, other three. Three. Up to five. All right. Up to six. That is five. Yeah. Son of man, confront Jerusalem with her detestable practices and say, This is what the sovereign Lord says to Jerusalem. Your ancestry and birth were in the land of the Canaanites. Your father was an Amorite and your mother a Hittite. On the day you were born, your cord was not cut, nor were you washed in water to make you clean, nor were you rubbed with salt or wrapped in cloth. No one looked on you with pity or had compassion enough to do any of these things for you. Rather, you are thrown out into the open field. For on the day you are born, you are despised. Mm-hmm. Proceed. Then I passed by and saw you kicking about in your blood. Mm-hmm. And as you lay there in your blood, I said to you, leave. I made you grow like a plant of the field. You grew up and developed and became the most beautiful of jewels. Mm-hmm. Your breasts were formed and your hair grew. Mm-hmm. You were naked and bare. Mm-hmm. Later I passed by. Mm-hmm. When I looked at you and saw that you are all enough for love, I spread the corner of my garment over you and covered your nakedness. Mm-hmm. I gave you my solemn oath and entered into a covenant with you, mm-hmm. declares the sovereign Lord, and you become mine. I bathed you with water and washed the blood from you and put ointments on you. Thank you. It has not captured where I wanted. It says that you are thrown out and your soul. It says, the other one will say, and your soul was said. Then, yani, nafsiyako inachukiwa. So, I said 60, 15, inasema, though you were hated. You are what? Hated. And no one passes through you. That's Isaiah chapter 60, uh, 15. You were hated. You were what? By all. By all. There is nothing you can do. Kuna mdo na kuangalivi alis kwa macho anakuchukia. Even when you go to the mirror and ask yourself, what is my... Pr-? You have seen people. You have seen... Right now, we are talking like in a society whereby we have people who are doing, choosing every manner and means either to be beautiful, especially now women. So, let, let, forget about men. Men, they cannot stretch themselves, become tall. They cannot do anything about themselves. I Very few guys... I've seen the Congolese only doing those nonsense where they are taking drugs to become brown. They are... They are wanaoga, na jik, na, 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 na live boy, whatever it is available. So that they come. I don't know who told them that when you are brown is when you see you are beautiful. Those are the Congolese, I don't know. But they feel so few Kenyans now. But women, I met a sister in the Kisumu. She used all those drama things. So she's, yani, akona spots everywhere. Her body spotted. She said, what were you looking for? You're talking about beauty? Excuse me. Who told oh no no to happen mwepe apa ni mweusi apa ni sasi moto skin I mean she's everything now she's looking what you call acceptable she's looking for what I saw in a semaje Edward the verses fifteen yeah. whereas you have been forsaken and hated yeah. so that no one went through you uh-huh. I'll make you an eternal excellence. I'll make you what? An eternal excellence. You are forsaken and hated. Your soul can be hated like nothing. Read the last word, First uh, Corinthians chapter number 12, verse number uh, uh, four, uh, uh, 2, sorry, so that we finish. Then, uh, 
start verse number one. First Corinthians 12. Start verse number one. Then I give you the few indicators of those souls which are under a yoke. Ni maikuwa ni sema nitakupatia and very very many times una 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 tunapitiwa na wakati. Corinthians yes. First, second. Eh, yeah, Corinthians chapter 12 first. Now about spiritual gifts. Eh. Brothers, mm. I do not want you to be ignorant. Mm. You know that when you are pagans somehow or other you are influenced and led astray. You are reading 12 uh, first or uh, second? I think it is second. You are reading second? First. No, please second. Yes. I must go on boasting although there is nothing to be gained. Yeah. I will go on to visions and revelations from the Lord. Mm. I know a man in Christ mm. who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven. Was caught up where? To the third heaven. That's when I want that's why I want to read and we stop there we start from tomorrow. Caught up where? So your soul can travel the first heaven and when it comes down it starts dimmi ya undeto. You understand what I'm saying? Wanajua sasa. Waka, let me tell you. Everybody who has begun, anybody who has begun the region that's demonic cult. Have you ever seen this case where I've said a demonic cult? What I swear, sir. Those who have begun demonic cult, they do not begin while they were eating ugali. They were in the spiritual atmosphere. They were in another realm beyond the ordinary man. Oh. Those who have begun those demonic satanic cult 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 very strong cult these guys they were not eating we don't know to nafsi yake inasafiri anaenda maombi akitoka maombi akimaliza 30 days fasting akiteremka hapa chini ya mlima anapata mwanaume wanalala na yeye kama ni mwanamke ama ni mwanaume there's a lady very good example we knew her kabisa she was a prayerful woman. Why? The time you start praying, your soul departs. Now, the problem is when your soul starts traveling in the process, it will meet that some of them in a kutanaga hapo nafsiako, inaweza kutana na roho ya kiburi, inakutana roho ya washirati, inakutana roho ya ukatiri, inakutana roho ya ya utambusi, yani utambusi, those familiar spirits. Na akimalizia first heaven akiteremka yani unajua once the way somebody behaves like i am so spiritual bana asifiwe wapendo asifiwe serious have you seen even those churches where people otherwise kusalimia kwa mkono hivi yani you are they are so holy they are what extremely holy sasa mtu anakwenda hivyo anapokwenda na shake ina dumbo usherati anamaliza 30 days prayer and fasting anashuka akiwa kwa mlango ya prayer center amemaliza anabada ndugu ama anabada dada sema oh bwana asifiwe sasa mama bwana asifiwe sana toka mambo alifiwe yesu pumzika hapa brother give me good water but okay it's all right ndugu it's all right ndugu ndugu analala akiamuka anakuta ako juu ya mdada Oh, oh, I cast so suffering. You know, you cannot receive even demonic powers when you are full of ugali. Lazima uwe emptied, uwe dry, you are sold iwe. Yaani mwili na nyongonyea macho iko hivi lugulu, yaani uoni kitu, you are restless. So wakikuja wanashikarisha ni kama smaku sasa wakati ule you are helpless completely so ndio kama zile majini unaangalilishiwa hivi alafu ina pick and then from there you are given now you are given power go out you become extra so you have seen oh everybody will listen swali ujaiona mtu ambaye ni muombezi sana ametoka maombi lakini ana madharau kuliko ana dharau pasta ana dharau wa mama wa kanisa ana dharau hivi ana kama ni wasichana anawakuta kwa mlango hawasalimi because if prayer does not make you humble does not make you generous does not make you easy going very acceptable that's no prayer 
Your soul travel, but where it went, it is not in the third heaven. In that word, Paul was saying, I am not posting, but as a man, that's what Paul speaking in that one. He said, I am not posting. She said, Yeah, he said, it's funny. Like you could come to Alisa feeling. Do I find any? Badaya mia kakumi na ine kuna mtu alisafiri akaenda mpaka mbingu ya tatu mbingu ya nini Shetani akwagi katika Jehanam nerudia hiyo so hiyo statement The devil is not in hell he has not been sent to hell for your information The devil is in the second heaven <laughs> What does the Bible says When Daniel started to pray in the book of Daniel 10, chapter 9 and 10. When he started to pray, the Bible says, and already his prayers were, uh, the guy was fasting 21 days. How many days? But the Bible says, the day he began to pray, when you kneel down, start praying, your soul travels. That's what? Because your body cannot travel to go and receive the information that you require. It is your soul that travels to receive the information to come down to your body and it gives you confidence and courage. That's why after you have prayed, really prayer, and the Bible says, you know what people say naturally, people say, umeomba na umepe, umepe nya, umepe nini? Umeomba na umepe, umepe nya. Kwa hivyo kuna maali haupenyi, umepe nini? So unafika hapa, unarelax. Hizi makaniza toto, unaona roo musaraba, roo israeli, roo ya kumachi kwa barabara, all this one came as a result of prayer. Akuna yenye likuja. Ati watu walikuwa mekawa na kula ugari. I'm telling you. Hile ya watu nakula ugari. They will never survive even a day. Hiyo si church. The church that smells. It is the. Wewe. Wewe unaweza anza kitu. Ambato kika. Kia outlive you. On that toe is now gone. Wanasikia liambia watu sasa mimi ndiyo mesaya ni mekuja. Siyata maka lawa na muita mesaya. Medisikari yo ndiye. Aya. Ui wanyonyi wenu. Uyu wakwenu Edward, uyu wanyonyi. Jehova wanyonyi. Up to the guy is not even alive. But grown up people, not small children, grown up. The guy is controlling their soul. Let me tell you, a man that who can control the souls of men, he must be in another level of the spiritual realm. Read that when we finish. We start from here tomorrow. I know a man in Christ. Uh huh. 14 years ago, uh -huh. whether in the body I do not know, uh -huh. or whether out of the body I do not know. I want you to mark that word, whether out of what? The body. I said, whether out of what? The body. Out of the body. Uh -huh. God knows uh -huh. such a one was caught up to the third heaven. He was caught up where? To the third heaven. See, my friend, it is the soul. Is what? Uh huh. And I know such a man. Uh -huh. Whether in the body or out of the body, uh, I do not know. Mm, God knows mm, how he was caught up into paradise mm, and had inexpressible words mm, which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Mm -hmm. Of such a one I boast, yeah. yet of myself I not boast, mm, except in my infirmities. Mm -hmm. For though I might desire to boast, mm, I'll not be a fool, mm, for I'll speak the truth, mm, but I refrain Lest anyone should think of me above what he sees me Unasikia. to be. Anybody thinks above me. Mana, wewe well, kiambiwa mumu yangudana mungu na other. Every person, and I kuambia, yo, when I was in prayer, you know, I met God first too. He gave me A, B, C, D. Wana suwe san. Jesus, John, James, and Peter, Biblia nasema kwamba, they were in the Mount of Transfiguration. Si ati walia muka wakaenda. Do you know in their dream, both of them, Kuna ndoto unaweza kuota na mungina kaota na mungina kaota. Both of them inakuwa pamoja. Biblia sema na Moses came and the Raja what? It said. Si ati walienda wakaenda zaza walikuwa hapo hivi. Even when you are praying. Hey. Even when a time you are praying. Time you do what? Pray. Ukiuli zaza wale watu wa zamani. Wote wale watu wa zamani. Wale wa zamani. Wale wa zee wa zamani. Walikuwa tawana mungu, lakini walikuwa na kaga na ndoto zingine, wanapata unabi. Eh? Wanasema, Samuei, Ariota. 
aliota akaona ndoto na akatoa unabii yani aliota akaamka akasema ameona nyoka moja kubwa inatoka Mombasa nyoka inapita inapita inaenda mpaka inashika nyoka moja tu inatoka inafika Uganda he meant that nyoka the interpretation was it was a railway line kuna mwingine anaitoa kamugo wa kaviru mkikuyu alisema wapa sio ni wapi kabashi hapa alisema ameota hivi akaona kuna vitu vina mmea vinatoka chini vinatoa nyeupe 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 yani ni majengo <laughs> and it's not there so even when you are not very spiritual your soul can travel ferot bible says he dreamt he had a dream the captain has had a dream that these people they were not godly but your soul can travel can do what God, the Bible says, when Laban wanted to chase Jacob to fight him in over his children, the Bible says, and the God appeared to him. Kwa ni Mungu alitokea na na panga. He appeared where? Into the dream and warned him. Did what? Job 33 verse 14 to 18. When you read the whole of that one, we talk from here tomorrow, you so you understand what I'm talking about. So tomorrow we are going to go in and on Sunday and many other days that God will give us grace. You understand from one to one the indicators of those souls how it is behave. Wakati nafsi yako is under a cage, under a yoke. What happens? Nini na happen? Una matumaini mengi, una kuna kipindi unajisikia mimi nataka kufanya hivi, mimi nataka kufanya hivi. Nataka nikuletee chini mpaka uteremke, ujue nafsi yako na nyota yako zinachikania haje. Because everybody who is born is born with his star. Ndio unaona waanga wa kienyeji wanasema waja ni kuangalilie nyota yako. Hawajui. You born with the star. That's what the Bible says when Jesus was born and the star was seen. Now because it was brighter than the rest of the stars. Bwana sio sana. There are other children who are born. Even the king, how can the king be scared of just a mere star? How can the king be scared just merely because of a star? Let me tell you. This is a spiritual when your soul travel it is empowered. Is what? Baba, tunasema mwanaambia watu nimeanza kanisa ya kuvaa nguo nyeupe. Kama zile dini za huko kwenu wedu. Sinakuwa na nini? Bendera ya Kenya. White ile kofia. Tuna moja hapa kwetu hapa soja hapa. Sunday mwana ukimkuta sasa hizo unajua nisi nisi nisifanye nisi kufanya dhambi sana sasa unajua leo ni siku ya kanisa amevaa kofia iko kiraka ya red green na nini wewe white green ile kwa eh. unawakuta barabarani watu wako angalia wakikuyu wale wa mukorino mungiki all of them Do you think you can wake up in the morning mobilize young boys and young women who are following a religion called Mungiki and it is not at five people which even the government with their guns with their bombs with everything they are unable to control it Nini 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 brother let me ask you Nini serikali inakuja mpaka na vifaru Na jamaa mwenye anadili na watu wote anatosha na clofas Have you seen my my name By the way when atoshana even a clofas ana kitambi he's not even bigger like me we met here hapa 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 na nini inaitwa nini waterback maina njenga na sports anasimama hivi akisimama wanatetemekanga wanasema chairman amesema ni hata wale mashirika wako hapa wanalindaga hapa si wako very faithful in that religion wona either control enough za watu mpaka waamini kitu hivi unafikiri ni kitu rais You wake up in the morning. Paul anasema nilisafiri mpaka mbingu ya ngapi? Sasa wengine wanasafiri mpaka mbingu ya kwanza anarudi anasema nimeonyeshwa. Kila mtu kwa hii kanisa ukitaka kuona Mungu aliniambia uwe na bibi 55. Usijaribu ukiwa na ukiwa na 4 and a half wewe wendi heaven. Na I'm telling the truth and it goes on and on. I, I, I mean these things are there. Yaani ukitaka kujua and that's why unaambi wanga if you are not properly prepared even for prayer don't go for prayer for many days because unaweza rudi na umerokota mapepo unaniona lakini 
Ule rafiki yako wa mimi ule mama, ule mwenye alikuwa kuja hapa. Ameenda prayer for the days, ameambiwa Mungu amemwambia sasa huyo bwana yako ana kabisa na ukimwona akihubiri my brother, guy Jehovah anahubiri kama risasi tena ni mama. Mungu ameniambia huyo mwanaume mtu amezaa na yeye watoto wawili, watoto. Na nikamwambia mkao wangu anambia give her time. Nikamwambia huyu mama ameomba ndio lakini ameenda katika mbingu ya kwanza amewekewa roho ya uasherati she's empowered na mission yake kuna wanaume hata kama ni watumishi au ndio amepewa kazi na atawazungusha na akisimama hivi utakuta labda kama nikaliza kama imejaa pafu 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 but after the service what you can do you will be surprised don't joke. That's why when I tell even these guys, when you are praying, number one, be, I, I advise people who are prayer, who are going for many days of prayer, you must. Uja yona, mi nimeuliza, uja yona mutu wa metoka maumbi, anakiburi mbaya kuliku wada ule ajaomba? Ama ni mchoye excess, ama? Sometimes you find even some intercessors are not very generous. Have you found out that? Even offering, webe, ume deal now, kama ule rafiki yako. A big common, yani, let me call him like that because I don't know how to can call him. Eh, bana swe sana. Natoka maombi, unaweza tuma maombi yako de kuombe. But it's the highest liar. If prayer does not take lies out of you, it does not take immorality out of you, it does not take pride out of you, that's no prayer. Your soul has traveled, but it's in the... Na umejinyima tu imagine. Na unajua, when those spirits itaka kuingia, zinatakaka wakati tumbo iko flat, iko aina ugali. That's why unaona kuna mtu anakaa na yani inaitwa that's why you hear people say in America for example we are talking about the Derek uh, the guy who was the biggest church in uh, Singapore Joseph Prince unaona vile anavaa na ma, ma, ma bootle kubwa jeans jacket nyingine meraruka up and he is preaching hata kimuliza ameenda fasting usiku ngapi anasema you know i love fasting for a day after consultation of my doctor, you know, my doctor must give me the description to see my health, stomach, career, then I go for prayer. Mwafrika anaenda mustuni, anaenda, anapiga 40 days. Akirudi, okimuomba, akikula ugali. Anakuangalia na sura mbunye, mpaka unuliza. If you went to prayer, Isaiah 58 inasema kwamba, it is not for time for you to pray and 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 and, and persecute your soul. Now that is from Isaiah 58, verse number two, up to six. You know, is it? I'm just adding on that one, so so that you understand. When you are going to prayer, you must be actively knowing what you are doing. Say verse number two, Edward. Get the sick me daily, mm. and delight to know my ways, uh-huh. as a nation that did righteousness. Mm-hmm. And do not forsake the ordinance of their God. Mm. They ask me of the ordinances of justice. Mm. They, they, they take delight in approaching God. Mm. Why have we fasted? Yes, they me. say. Excuse me. Anyone who reads a Why are we what? Fasted. Uh-huh. Number two. They say. Uh-huh. And you have not seen. Uh-huh. Why have we afflicted our souls? And you take no notice. We have afflicted what? So. Our souls. We afflict what? So. And you have not noticed. Eh? In fact, in the day you fast, eh. you find pleasure. Eh. And exploit all your laborers. Eh. Indeed, you fast for strife and debate. Watch here, Yani, you fast in strife and debate. Kama faisayo. Anakwambia, unajua, nimetoka maombi, 40 days, December 40 days. Alafu unakuwa nakula hapa maandasi. Sasa hii anaongea pole pole, anaongea ni rafiki ya huyu ndugu. Anapenda hiyo drama. 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 No skip. You persecute your laborers. Unawatesa wafanyikazi wa Na unajua kuna wale wanaendaga maombi ya ma, mashetani wanaenda wanashika nafsi za wafanyikazi na mfanyikazi hata kama alipi mshahara atoki. Leo subuhi tumeamkia hiyo neno na mke wangu. Kuna waluya wako pale kwetu wanafanya kazi tangu tuingie hapa mahali tuko wanalipwa vibaya. Wasomali wako na watoto kama 16. 
na kwa nyumba wanakaa wanawake 3 huyu mama anaamka 4 in the morning na analala hadi midnight na yani mpaka mpaka ukimusuggestia tafadhali dada kuna mwenye anaweza kukulipa hata kama ni 5000 uende hivyo at least ana mtoto mmoja anaenda na report kwa yule unaona huyu eh anataka kunitoa hapa anandanganya yani unaona mtu anafurahia kutengeneza maandazi from morning za kumi mpaka za kumi usiku analipwa 62 bob ya kutengeneza man when he can make his own atembei town profit can be 650 so sorry yake inakuwa arrested what stand up on your feet sorry for time has gone 